Let me just say, Jim, uh, you haven't heard the governor deny these numbers. He's called them phony, he's called them fuzzy, but the fact remains, almost 30 percent of his proposed tax cut goes to only to Americans that make more than one million dollars per year. Let's, more money goes to the... Can I have a rebuttal here? Sure, but I just want to see if he, if, if he buys that. No, here's, he, let me just tell you what the facts are. The facts are, after my plan, the wealthiest of Americans pay more taxes than they, of the percentage of the whole than they do today. Secondly, if you're a family of four making $50,000 in Massachusetts, you get a 50% tax cut. Let me give you one example. The Strunk family in Allentown, Pennsylvania, I campaigned with them the other day. They make $51,000 combined income. They pay about $3,800 in taxes, and, or $3,500 in taxes. Under my plan, they get $1,800 of tax relief. Under Vice President Gore's plan, they give $145 of tax relief. Now, you tell me who stands on the side of the Look, rich. You living, ask the Strunks, right, you, right, ask right, the, you ask the Strunks if I could get my, whose plan it makes more <laughs> sense. And there's a right. difference of opinion. He would rather spend the Strunks $1,800, and I would rather the Strunks spend your own money. You I, say it that way, Vice President? No, Gore? I don't. And I'm not going to uh, go to, to, to calling names on his facts. I'm just going to tell you what the real facts are. The analysis that he's talking about leaves out more than half of the tax cuts that I have proposed. And if you just add the numbers up, he still hasn't denied it. He spends more money on a tax cut for the wealthiest 1 percent than all of his new proposals for prescription drugs, health care, education, and national defense combined. Now, those are the wrong priorities. Six hundred and sixty-five billion dollars over ten years for, for the wealthiest 1 percent. Now, and, and as I said, almost uh, uh, 30 percent of it goes to Americans that make more than one million dollars per year. Every middle class family is eligible for a tax cut under my proposal. Let me give you some specific examples. I believe that college tuition up to $10,000 a year ought to be tax deductible so middle class families can choose to send their children to college. I believe that all seniors should be able to choose their own doctors and get prescription drugs from their own pharmacists uh, with, the, with Medicare paying half the bill. I believe that parents ought to have more choices with charter schools and public school choice to send their kids always to a safe school. I think we need to make education the number one priority in our country and treat teachers like the professionals okay. that they are. And that's why I have made it the number one priority in my budget, not a tax cut for the wealthy. Yeah, let me